we are going to start our uh, new lecture of Algorithm Vietas of Presumed Orbital Histotasmosis Syndrome. As usual, uh, starting with the introduction, histoplasma encapsulatum infection occurs following inhalation of the yeast form of this dimorphic fungus and can lead to systemic mycosis histoplasmosis. Pulmonary involvement is the most common feature. It is common in AIDS. Presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome is relatively common in areas of endemic histoplasmosis, for example, the Mississippi River Valley in the USA. Casualty has never been definitely confirmed, but over 90% react positively to histoplasmin testing. It is believed that eye disease represents an immune-mediated response to microbial antigen rather than immediate damage due to active infection. Ocular features, 60% um, of the patients have bilateral signs. Uh, presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome is usually asymptomatic unless choroidal uh, neovascularization in the macular area supervenes. Signs may be discovered at a routine uh, eye examination. There is this classical triad which consists of a multiple white atrophic chorioretinal histospots and which are about 200 microns in diameter. Uh, they are shown here in this figure. And then B is the peripapillary atrophy as shown here. And third, the absence of arthritis and linear mid peripheral scars which occur in about 5% of the patient as shown here in this figure. And such a clear picture can only be obtained if there is no detritus. So the, this is the classical triad. Then there is choroidal neovascularization that is already discussed, but it is a late manifestation occurring in less than 5% of affected eyes and is usually associated with a pre-existing macular histospot. Uh, associated, uh, it is also associated with subretinal fluid and hemorrhage leading into falls uh, in visual acuity. Uh, acute chorioretinitis is almost always asymptomatic. Uh, and rarely identified, but discrete overround whitish lesions less than 400 microns in diameter that may develop into classic punched out histospots have been described. Coming on to investigations, uh, skin testing is no longer in, uh, undertaken. HLA testing uh, presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome is associated with HLA B7 and DRW2. Uh, serological testing is helpful if positive but is usually negative in the absence of systemic mycosis. Uh, fluorescent angiography and OCT uh, is required when CNV is suspected. The important part now is the treatment. Uh, spontaneous regression of uh, choroidal neovascularization may occasionally occur, but without treatment, 60% of eyes with uh, CNV have a final visual acuity of less than 6 by 60. Uh, intravitreal antivascular endothelial growth factor um, injection for CNV is one of the modality of treatment. The second one is the ancillary grid testing uh, of the fellow eye, at least weekly, particularly if a macular histospot is present. Uh, 
there is a 25% risk of CMV. Any role of antioxidant supplement is undefined in this case. So that's how we'll conclude the topic of presumed ocular histoplasmosis of no. Thank you all. If you like the lecture, please like and subscribe to this channel uh, for further lectures. Thank you all.